Hello everyone and welcome back to this, the 10th video in the Puppy Training Journey series. On this video I want to spend a bit of time looking at uh, puppies and how they can bite you, nip you, mouth you, uh, not necessarily in an overtly aggressive way because if that's happening we may need to spend some one-to-one -one time together to look at the reasons behind that and ways in which we can address it. But this video is really about uh, dealing with expected uh, and normal levels of puppy biting and chewing. Now at this precise moment in time Ruby is reasonably calm but she can of course have highly excitable moments and she starts running around and charging and even still she is prone to be quite mouthy in the process. But we continue to remind her of the phrase no biting and she does actually understand it. But don't be alarmed if you find yourself repeating this no biting phrase quite a bit in the first few weeks but always have something to hand we have a variety of toys here, in fact these were shown in video number one of the puppy training journey. Uh, this, this, talk, this sort of uh, rope ball is being quite fun. She likes to retrieve this, hopefully show you a bit of that at some point. Little elephant here, her favourite chewing point is the tip of his trunk, poor little thing, and the ears. And we've got two or three around, others around as well. So absolutely critical to provide lots of safe chewing toys. So having shown you a couple of minutes of me interacting with Ruby on a calm level, uh, I'm going to give it a go to demonstrate to you how not to play with a puppy. Um, that might sound a bit of a weird statement, but many people will overexcite their puppies by playing too rough with them and this will involve a lot of pushing away, a lot of tugging, uh, rough play and uh, if I'm lucky I will be able to demonstrate that to you and if I were there looking from the outside in I would then actually be saying look this is this is too much with your puppy you're overexciting it and as a result the puppy is getting very mouthy and bitey, nippy, all of the above and uh, so always you know enjoy time with your puppy but be careful not to over excite not to over agitate now do, do bear in mind I've spent a good two weeks with Ruby already teaching her not to be rough or bitey at me so you are seeing a dog that is uh, albeit a young dog that is partly trained not to be rough with me. And actually this is a really nice level of play that I like with her. And I can rub her all up and down without her grabbing at my arm or sleeve, okay? So if I took this away now, give, then it's just me and her and she's immediately putting her teeth on my hands. Not roughly, because she already knows to be quite nice with me. If she bites me, I'll give a little demonstration. Ah, ah, no biting. And you see how immediately there, if you maybe stop the video, watch it back in slow motion or frame by frame, she brings her mouth away and she looks at me. What can sometimes happen if they in, are in this situation is they'll end up biting their own feet because uh, they need something in their mouth. What are you doing in there? Hey, what are you doing? So this can really wind a dog up, rubbing them sort of briskly around this area or rubbing them around the head. The only thing she's got that she can bite is, of course, my hands or my arms, okay? Good girl. So another common mistake 
that people will make if the dog is being too rough with them, especially with a bigger dog. Let's imagine a Labrador. A Labrador, even at this age, would, would most likely be this sort of height and build here. Um, and that what you end up doing, there you go, is a bit that's fallen off there, so that's for the bin. And this is actually coming, beginning to come to the end of its uh, safe life, I think. The legs are coming off. Um, if you end up pushing the dog away in an effort, a genuine effort to get the dog off you and to tell the dog off uh, or to reprimand the dog, the dog will often see that as play and will come in harder and faster. Um, and so you'll need to think carefully about how you're managing a dog that is behaving too roughly with you. Firstly, I would always say watch out how you are playing with the dog. Are you overexciting the dog? Are you riling the dog up too much? Different dogs have different temperaments. I think if Ruby had some terrier in her, that pushing her away and doing those little movements with her would definitely have wound her up. Um, but she's, you know, she's a sweet natured dog. She's not hard mouthed or roughy tufty dog. Um, so think carefully about how you are playing with your puppy in the first place so that you've got appropriate means to divert the dog's teeth and attention because this chewing is entirely natural. We shouldn't be stopping it, we just need to redirect it. Um, so yes, an absolute emphasis on not exciting the dog overly in the first place and then should the dog, even of its own accord, go off on one or become way too excited for you to safely manage, then uh, you could place a lead on the dog. And the lead will often subdue a dog. It's not an automatic magical cure, but it can often subdue a dog a little. And then if you have a lead on the dog, you're able to lift that lead up and to redirect the dog physically to another place. Now that might mean that, uh, and it's useful sometimes to have a, a, a little lead attached to the foot of a sofa leg, so that you could maybe give the pup a 60 second time out. You could get the lead, attach the dog to the lead, and leave it there to settle for just one minute. Once you think the dog is settled and calm, then you can let the puppy off again, maybe give it a toilet break, and then come back in and try again. Okay, um, so you can sort of manage the dog's emotional level by using little timeouts. There are a number of different areas, but I don't favour uh, shouting at the dog. I don't want you to be physically harsh with the dog um, or anything of that nature. This is another classic way of winding a dog up and getting bitten. Pushing it around, all looks like fun. And then the dog comes in, gets you on the forearm or the hand. You see her flashing her jaws here. Stick a toy in it. You know, that's exactly the thing to do here. We're redirecting her behavior. If she ignores the toy and absolutely insists on biting me, then I can tell her no biting. And, and we can use that without shouting because she's only 10, 12 inches away from me. Uh, but we can say in a way that she understands it is a command and that I'm not impressed with that behavior. Ah, no biting. Good, good. So some dogs, even despite being provided toys, will seem to find your, your arms and your clothing and your hands preferable to the choice that you've provided. And uh, th th this is uh, an area that is worth talking about because you will need to have some means of communicating with your puppy that you're not accepting that behaviour, you're not happy with it, and that it should stop. I simply use the phrase, no biting and you will need to say it like you mean it. Now that doesn't mean that you absolutely scream at your dog, this is not about volume, uh, but the tone of voice can make a big difference. So you can see here that Ruby has toys right at her feet, but even my hand is becoming uh, attractive to her. If you rub a dog around the face area, especially the side of the face, ah, ah, no biting. You see that little sharp-ish sound at that sort of volume is enough for her to stop, to look at me and to think, oh, I best not continue with that. As soon as we've 
issued that no biting command, redirect your dog onto something appropriate. Yeah. It's also important that all members of the family are following suit. It's not fair on you or the puppy if, say, we have mum and children following this sort of approach and then dad comes home from work and has a real rough play with the puppy, gets the puppy way overexcited, is quite okay with the puppy mouthing and grabbing at his clothing. Uh, and of course then mum is at home in the day to deal with similar behaviour, which is, which is not good for the puppy or for the people involved. No biting. It's mousy. What's all this? What's all this? What's all this?